Hi students, this is uh, Judy Energy in Germany, I system of 5.5. Uh, real life applications of comics. Now we are going to study about only the parabola based sums, right? The first question is a brick has a par parabolic heart that is 10 meter high in the center and 30 meter wide at the bottom. Now find the height of the arch 6 meter from the center on either sides. Now just imagine, this is a, an arch, it should be a uh, parabolic arch, it should be a uh, bridge, ok? You see, consider this is a ground level and the center, the center is 10 meter high. This is center point, it should be 10 meter high and it's a wide, how much wide? 30 meter. It should be in 30 meter wide. Now we want to find out the height of the arch 6 meter from the center on either side. Now this is the center point. You take 6 meter any uh, right, right side or left side. Just take, take out 6 meter. Okay, so this is a 30 meter overall span 30 meter. So it should be divided 15 meter, 15 meter here. And then pick up just at the center, from center, you want to choose only 6 meter here. Then you want to find out what is the height of, of the bridge. Okay, from the center. This is the question. Now, we want to imagine this parabola is open downwards. Right? It open downwards. And mark as a point P on it. And look at this. We want to convert into the parabolic diagram. Just imagine this. So, this is vertex. Okay? And this is ground level. This is 30 meter wide, you know. So, you want to take 15 here, 15. This side should be as a 10. Now, this point nothing but minus 15, comma, minus 10. Because this is third quarter, so third quarter always uh, negative, right? Both negative always here plus 30, sorry, plus 50 minus 10. So the end points are marked here, and next we want to mark a point P, which is the distance 6 meter from the center, right? Consider this point. This is P. So now mention that this is point as Q and this point as R. Now the PQ distance nothing but uh, imagine that is a Y1 and the distance will be here. So Y1 and we know very well this is 6. Huh? Now we can write the point, the coordinate point of P is nothing but X values first, then Y values. So X values should be positive. This is fourth coordinate. So all the points can be marked as plus comma minus, so 6 comma minus y1. So from this diagram, you want to represent as a diagram here. Consider the parabola. Right here, this is open downwards, that's why x squared is equal to minus 4 y And let A, B, B, B span of the bridge. So let A, B, which is equal to 30 meter, B span of the bridge. And B, C, here B, C, B, C, B, B, C is equal to 10 meter. B height of the bridge. Now the point A, which is minus 15 comma minus 10, lies on the parabola, isn't it? Now the point minus 15 comma minus 10 lies on the parabola. Otherwise, we can write down. Equation number one. Now this value substitute here. 
x square is nothing but minus 15 double square and this one minus 4a into minus 10. Minus 15 square is nothing but plus 225 and minus minus will be cancelled. This is 40a. We can simplify 225 divided by 40 which is equal to a or 225 divided by 10 which is equal to 4a. We can choose any this one or this one. It's not easy. Now we want to apply this value in first equation. Therefore, the first equation will come x square which is equal to minus 4a. No? So, for a value here, 225 divided by 10 into 1. Make it as equation number 2. Now, what we do here, we are just eliminating the a. Now, we want to find out the height of the bridge. Height of the bridge, is, just to look at the diagram, height of the bridge, we need PR only. But, we know very well, here PQ, PQ consider that is a Y1. But, according to this question, we want to find out what is a PR. Okay? Now, I am going to wrap this one. From diagram, from diagram, all QR which is equal to 10 and PQ which is equal to Y1 and PR that is a question. Right? Now, the coordinate of E. Therefore, the coordinate of P is nothing but this is the distance, the horizontal distance is nothing but uh, 6 and the vertical distance is nothing but y1, right? But this y1 is placed in 4th quadrant, so 4th quadrant points more less plus comma minus, that's why here 6 comma minus. Now, the point P lies on the parabola, hence it satisfies the parabolic equation, right? So, in satisfies the parabolic equation, we want to put the point to the second equation. We know the second equation, x square which is equal to minus 225 divided by 10 into y. Now, we want to substitute the point here. We get 6, 6, 6 square which is equal to minus 225 divided by 10 into minus 1. Now we have to find out value of y1 and so on. Right? So 6 square is nothing but 36 is equal to minus into minus plus. So 225 divided by 10 which is equal into y1. So now y1 is equal to 360 divided by 225. Now we have to simplify the data axis. So, 360 divided by 225. You can simplify phi table also, it's a not issue. Otherwise, you can do that. So, it's possible one time. 1, 225 is a 1, 225. Now, just to subtract here, 5, 4, 1. So, 225 can't divide this one. So, keep point. So, add 0. So how many times is possible? Just to look at this, uh, 2 years 17, just to try at least 7, 7 5 is a 35, so 5, then we have 3, 7 2 is a 14, so 14 plus 3 is 7, then we have 1, 7 2 is a 14, 14 plus 1 is 15, so it's highest value, you know, so it is easy to take 6. Now this should be 1.6 meter. Otherwise, it's just a workout here, we get answers. 6 by 7 is 0, so balance 3. 6 to the 12, 12 plus 3, 15 for 5, number 1. 6 to the 12, 12 plus 1, 13. So we get answers. So further we move on, so it's enough to find out the value of y1 as 1.6 meter. But the required height, the required height is nothing but p2r. Record what height is nothing but P 
speed to R, so that is PR. Now, little little, so PQ overall QR tender, overall QR tender, then PQ. Subtracting these two, we get the height of the bridge. So PR, we can write Q to R, that is QR minus very small distance, PQ. Which is equal to QR is nothing but 10, PQ, PQ is nothing but a y one, which is nothing but 1.6 meter, 1.6. Now, if you want to subtract here, we get so 8.4 meters. So, we proceed. The height of the heart 6 meters from the center is nothing but 8.4 meter. Hi, students. This is exercise 5.5 and question number 3. At a water fountain, water attains a maximum height of 4 meter at a horizontal distance of 0.5 meter from its origin. So, water fountain is always considered, this is x axis, y axis. We can see the what horizontal in garden or field or sports stadium like that. So, consider it, it is in water fountain. Water flows in parabolic shape. Okay. Water, water flows into the stadium or garden to take any places here. And it makes a maximum height. And it makes a maximum height of 4 meter. Then the horizontal distance of 0.5 meter from its origin. If this is origin, you take a 0 0.5 meter from the car. Right? Next, if the path of the water is parabola, so it's clearly it is in parabola, find the height of water at the horizontal distance of 0 0.75 meter from the point of origin. Now we want to calculate the maximum height when 0, at 0 0.75 meter from the origin. Now we want to find out the height of the distance, right? Right of the water level. Okay? Now you see from the diagram we want to consider the equation consider the equation of parabola which is x minus h the whole square which is equal to minus 4a into y minus k because this is a vertex we know the vertex the vertex should be 0 0.5 comma 4 and this this is the point we know the point p the p is nothing but 0 0.75 comma y1. This point or lies in the first quadrant. Okay, this is x-axis, you know, the first quadrant. And also, it passes through at RG, 0 comma 0. Okay, it so passes through RG. Now, we have to apply here. What is this vertex clearly? Vertex B, 0 0.5 comma 4. So it becomes x minus 0.5 of the whole square, which is equal to minus 4a into y minus k. So y minus k. Clearly, it passes through all the So it passes through all the So it passes through all the way. So you can apply x value x as 0 and y as 0. So it becomes minus 0.5 of the whole square, which is equal to minus 4a into minus k. Minus 0 0.5 of square is nothing but 0 0.25, which is equal to 16 d. Minus 0 minus plus 4 plus 16 d. So now a is equal to 0 0.25 divided by 16. Or 4 a is equal to 0 0.25 divided by 4. We can choose any one. So consider this is a 
first equation, this is the second equation. Now the second equation will come like this. When applying the values of 4 a here. So x minus 0.5 the whole square, which is equal to minus 0.25 divided by 4 because of 4a I am substituting here into y minus 4, which is nothing but the third equation. Now we want to find out the height of one another at 0.75 meter from the object. Okay, now I raise it. Now apply the point P. Let the coordinate of P is 0 0.75 from Y1. Since the point P lies on the parabola, hence it satisfies the parabolic condition. Right? Since the point P lies on equation number 3, that is nothing but parabola. Now just apply the value here 0 0.75 minus 0 0.5 the whole square, which is equal to minus 0 0.25 divided by 4 in the y is nothing but y1 so y1 minus 0 0.75 minus 0 0.5 is nothing but 0 0.25 the whole square which is equal to here minus 0 0.25 divided by 4 into y1 minus I don't know so 0.25 the whole square here, 0 0.25 will be cancelled by one time. Otherwise, if they can from this side, it should be divided for. Okay. Now 0.25, this divide 4 goes to this side, multiple. So 4, which is equal to minus of y1 minus 4. I multiply this one. 25 4 is 100. And after the two decimal points will be 1. Just multiply this one, minus y1. Plus 4. So let's show y1 going to right side y1 going to left side and the plus 1 taken go right side it will come y1 which is equal to 4 minus 1. So y1 which is equal to 3. So this is nothing but required height of water level the distance 0 0.75 meter from the origin. Okay, therefore the required height of Water level is 3 meters. That's all. Thank you. Students, exercise 5.5, question number 5. Parabolic cable of 60 meters portion of the road bed of a suspension bridge of position as shown below. See the look the diagram. The diagram explains everything. This is a suspension bridge. It is a, it is a, it is a parabola open upward and which is uh, 60 meter wide and its supporting pillar height has given that is a 60 meter the supporting pillar and uh, the bridge and the road, roadway this is in the yellow line nothing but the roadway the distance between the lowest uh, is the vertex of the parabola and the road point is nothing but uh, 3 meters now the question is and then each and every, you see, the parabolic cable of 60 meter portion of the roadway of suspension bridge are positioned as shown below. Vertical cables are to be spaced every 6 meter along this portion of the roadway. You see, the vertical cable, these cables are positioned each and every cable distance between nothing but 6 meters. Here also 6, here also 6, here also 6. Each and every vertical length has 6 meter in gap. Okay. Now the question is calculate the length of the first two of these vertical cables. Height. Okay, find the length. Now we want to find out the length of this cable, vertical cable, here and this one. First from this vertex. This is vertex B. You want to consider this one point P and this one is point Q. First of all, we have to load the we want to find out the equation of 
parabola. Look, look at this. This is a vertex, and make this vertex as draw a line, and this is nothing but x axis, and this is nothing but a y axis. So before here 60 meter, so 60 meter divided, split it into two parts. One is uh, 3 meter, and another one is uh, 30 meter. Just imagine it. This is 3 meter distance, and this one is uh, 30 meter distance. This is vertex, and clearly the vertex VP is nothing but 6 meter, and the VQ is nothing but 12 meter, and the point P, we don't know the value of height now. So we can take y1 and the q is nothing but 12 comma y2 and this vertex nothing but 0 comma 0 otherwise we can apply the point here also it's an added problem here 60 meter is divided here and fix 30 meter here 30 meter the point is nothing but we can note that this point should be a and b a can be right 30 comma 30 Okay, now from the figure or diagram, from the diagram, equation of parabola or the corresponding x square is equal to 4 a. Now we want to find out a first. That is the value of a. By substituting the point in a point as 1, the point which is a, the point a which is 30, comma 30, lies on it. Just to substitute the value here, 30 square is equal to 4 a into 30. Which is equal to 30 square nothing but 900 divided by 30, which is equal to 4a. Now the first equation will come x square which is equal to 900 divided by 30 into 1. This is named as the dash t. Now we want to find out the vertical cable height of first cable as well as the second cable. Just imagine that there is a point on P. And a Q. So point P already know that 6, y1. Let P be the point R first vertical cable. That is nothing but 6, y1. This point lies on the equation number 2. Okay? Now I erase this question. So now base question number two will come. X is called nothing but six. So six square is equal to nine hundred divided by thirteen into the y1. Now we want to find out the value of y1. So, in a 36 into 30 divided by 900 which is equal to y1. So, multiple term goes to this side should be divided. You can calculate the value here by 3 table or 9 table itself. 9 table 4 minus 36 here 100 times. Now, 4 times 4 turnings are 52, right, divided by 100, which is 0 0.5. But we need the height of the cable. This y1 is nothing but 0 0.52, it's nothing but about the x axis. But according to the board, the height should be the required height of. First cable is nothing but you just add this roadway length 3 meter and finding the length y1. So 3 plus y1. So nothing but 3 plus 0 0.52, which is equal to 3.0 3.52 meter. 
Now we want to take Q the same way we want to find Q. Let Q be point on second particular cable line which has 12 comma y2 therefore the point 12 comma y2 lies on main equation number 2 now we have to apply here equation number 2 will come 12 square same way okay 12 square is equal to 9 square divided by 13 instead of y1 you want to assign the y2 12 square nothing but 1 divided by 44 so this divide term goes to that side multiple so 13 this is 900 comes to here divided which is equal to y2 so now this is y2 now simplifying this one we get simplifying by 9 is easy 16 9s are 144, 100 9s are 900. Now, y2 which is equal to 1 to 1 to 16 into 30. 63 is 48, 16 is 16, then we get 208. So, 208 divided by 100, 208 divided by 100, which is equal to 2.08. Now we acquire the distance, this one distance, but this is this distance already we know according to x-axis, the distance between the x-axis and the row way, this is nothing but 3 meters. So next this distance should be y2. Okay. Now the required height which is equal to 3 plus y2, that is nothing but 3 plus 2.08. So nothing but 5.08 meter. Thank you, students. Hi, students. This is XS 5.5, question number 9. On writing a rocket tractor, it gets projected in a parabolic path and it reaches a maximum height of 4 meter when it is 6 meter away from the point of projection. Consider this is a ground level. A rocket tractor fired here and it, it reaches a maximum height 4 meter when it's 6 meter away from the point of projection. So it is 6 meter. This is the point of projection. This consider this O is a point of projection and it gets a maximum height 4 meter when it's 6 meter from the point of projection. Finally, it reaches the ground 12 meter away from the starting point. So finally, it reaches the ground. See, it reaches the ground. Up, then how much 12 meter from the ground, right? Now the question is, find the angle of position. Okay. Now we want to find out the angle of position theta. Now we have to find out angle of position theta. So it's a overall distance is nothing but 12 meter. It will be split up like 6 meter, 6 meter here. The part of a project is a parabola. We study in physics also. Part of a project is a parabola. And so here they give us in the parabolic part itself. Now we want to take the part in parabolic. So consider the parabolic which is open downwards. So now this looks like it's a parabolic equation. And clearly it is vertex and the point this one is O I take this one K and this one is B. The point A lies in third quadrant and easily is coordinate. See the vertical distance 4 meter R is the distance from the vertex line is 6 meter, so we can write the point of A is clearly minus 6, minus 4. The same way, 
we can write the coordinate of b also. This is lies the fourth quadrant. So fourth quadrant is plus comma minus. The horizontal distance six meter and the vertical distance four meter. Hence we can write here six comma minus. Now consider the equation of parabola, which is open number. Okay, consider the equation of parabola, which is open number. x square is equal to minus 4 a y is equal to 7 here means the vertex it should be r ok first of all you want to find out the value of a the parabola passing through the point minus 6 comma minus 4 or 6 comma minus 4 you can choose any point and then apply here and get the values of a here the points a of minus 6 comma minus 4 lines on 1. This is substituting here minus 6 in the whole square and this is equal to minus 4 a in this is minus 4. Minus 6 square is nothing but 36 and minus 6 square is nothing but 16 a. So a is equal to 36 divided by 16. Otherwise we can write 4a which is equal to lines. You can choose any one of the value and apply into the equation above. Now subtract from t, erasing this one. Sorry. Now the first equation becomes x square which is equal to minus 9. Now I want to find out angle of projection. Okay, that is the theta. So, we need angular projection is theta. So, we know the formula to find in slope. Slope is nothing but m is equal to tan theta. But we can differentiate with respect to the point of projection, we get easily slope. So, this equation I am going to differentiate with respect to x. So, x square is nothing but differentiation of x square. Nothing but 2x, I clearly here I differentiate both d by dx of x square is equal to d by dx of minus 9y. So d by dx of x square is nothing but 2x and d by dx are nothing but minus 9y means 9 into minus 9 into x divided by dx. Now I have to find out only d by dx here. So d by dx which is equal to 2x by 9. So that's this is nothing but a minus 2x divided by a is 9. So now I need slope, slope divided by m, which is nothing but dy by dx at the point of x1 comma y1. Now we know what point, the point of position is nothing but minus 6 comma minus 4, and substituting here you get angle of position. So m which is equal to d by dx, this is nothing but minus 2x divided by 9 at the point of minus 6 comma minus 2. So, m which is equal to minus 2 into minus 6 divided by 9 which is equal to plus 12 divided by 9 cancelling by third table it will become m is equal to 4 divided by 3. m clearly knows that tan theta, so tan theta is equal to 4 by 3, then theta is equal to this tan goes to that side, tan inverse of 4 by 3. So therefore, the angle of rotation is tan inverse of 4 by 3. Thanks, Rose.